Hello, so today Nishant and I will um, show you what we have been working on. Can you, Nishant, explain what the goal is, please? Yeah, so the goal was with this uh, network is to train uh, a CNN on uh, synthetic data that we've got from the raw simulation and see if it can it can be used to identify image identify real images of plants. So we just uh, train the higher level layers of the network. And uh, so far it's been working good, as you can see in the example. Uh, and later on, we, we, plan it, we plan to use it, uh, we plan to inco incorporate in, it in the raw simulator so that the robot can use to identify plants in the, uh, in the arena. Yep. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, so the first step was to generate the data because our goal was to to synthetically get the data. We used the 3D file for that of the plant. We had we generated renders like these. So we got a 360 uh, degrees view, multiple pictures. In this case, we had 60 pictures. Then the next step was to augment it, otherwise it will be too easy for the algorithm to guess where the boundaries are. For that we use this script that will, um, as you might imagine, uh, be available. It generates data that looks like this. So with a different background, we have a background database and we randomized some parameters like the noise, the orientation, and every image was augmented six, uh, 20 times. Sorry, that's also a parameter, you can tweak that. We also generated these masks, so everyone corresponds to uh, an equivalent uh, in, the, in the image. This is needed to get the, the label to know where the boundaries of the object uh, are. So this is the background uh, bank and uh, all of that is randomized. Then the next step was to transform this data into uh, a standardized data set which is called uh, Coco data set. So we used the script of um, Sorry if I mispronounce your name, but Azirba, Azirbas, that allowed us to go from the black and white pictures to the labeled data. And we used ingog, image augmentation, to augment the data. Then for the high level, we used uh, Detectron. Can you s tell us one or two words about Detectron, Nishant, please? Uh, yeah, so Detectron is basically uh, a high level repository which is built for identifying uh, or marking out the boxes. Uh, so uh, in machine learning terms, it's called image segmentation. So you can see there are different objects in the image image and the network is trained to identify all the different sections and uh, mark out the training classes. Uh, so in our model, we just use one class because um, uh, so it becomes like a one hot vector. So uh, it's identifying what is required and neglecting all the other things. And uh, yeah, so it, on, on a very high level, that's about, that's about it. I would say that um... We could have multiple classes. That, that's something we should explore, isn't it? Yes, for sure. To see how, how if with 100 classes it would work. Something else yes. we should explore uh, is to try to do that with 3D scans. That would make it, if it works, very cool. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, so these are the example images that we used. 
who corrected this uh, black um, how's it called black black part so we don't have it otherwise it will uh, mess up our neural network and these were the results we got with uh, validation data so this is also uh, training that sorry generated data synthetic data we can see that it's 49 percent sure about uh, the prediction but our goal is to use it for real life data so that's why we want to use it on this kind of images should we try it Nishat? yes go for it so i already trained it because it doesn't take that much to retrain how much does it takes uh minutes i think do we have that somewhere here Oh, one minute. Yeah. Total training time, one minute. That's crazy. 2,000 uh, pictures to train on. Um, so we need to execute this part. Then I need to upload the image. I mean, you can already see the result. So I guess, should I do it? Should I still do it? Uh, up. Let's rename that one 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 one. And then import it here. And then rename it. So give us your guess, Nishant. How many percent do you think? 84%. 84? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Zero percent. <laughs> JPEG. Uh, PNG. Oh, I know. It will. I don't know if this will work. Oh, it does work, even on a PNG. Yes. 91%. Whoa. So it does work. It of course needs uh, more more training. Sh should we try it on something live? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> beat. Uh, beats, beats. Which one should we try it on? This one. Um. Let's try on, uh, no, the other one. Uh, so on this row, the rightmost image. This one? Yes. OK. Um, let's also give it another picture. Rhubarb, I don't know how this is called in English. Rhubarb leaves. Should we try it on this one? Sure. This one? Yes, with the background. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. So, uh, our stream two, 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 same. And Oh, which one was it? This one. I will quickly rename this one. Let's 
they are not uh, at the right format so let's hope that this will still work yeah let's see dun, 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 dun. <laughs> jpeg okay once again let's see Ta -da! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's not celebrate too much too early. Maybe it detects everything that has green on it. I don't feel it. Ah, eighty-eight <laughs> percent. Yeah, man, it's doing what it has to do. No, it's not. This is a this is not a bitly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we need many more training examples. I think. Huh? Okay, but I would say that it it is a bit hard. I mean, even for us, it could be hard. Maybe not so much <laughs> because <laughs> this this one doesn't have all. Uh, violet this one does yeah okay we definitely need to to improve it but we got all of that from synthetic data so that's still promising isn't it yes okay do you have uh one last word <laughs> uh yeah let's hope to improve it and see it on the robot someday yes let's do that um, uh, we will link a report to all of this if someone wants to improve on it and i guess thank you for watching yep thank you so much bye